It's been a hellish summer for you in so many ways and your preparation has been so difficult, but in the last week in particular it must have been a nightmare. Well, it's been, it's been very difficult. You know, we thought we were you know, looking forward to get all geared up to, to a Ramsons Cup tie against Brecon up at Glebe Park, but um, unfortunately, as I sit here before you now, less than 48 hours before the tie, um, we don't know if I've got a licence to play in the game at all. So. Effectively, I, I, I can't uh, tell Rangers supporters at this moment in time whether the game's going to go ahead, actually. It's that, uh, it's that serious. And of course, the, the, the whole situation surrounding the, the, the meetings that you've had and uh, the difficulties that have been caused by the previous regimes, that must be sticking in your throat as well. well. Of course it does, Lindsay. I mean, our, our club, uh, in, in, in my opinion, has certainly been, been guilty um, in the last 10, 11 months or so, certainly of of massive, massive financial mismanagement and for that we must be punished. Um, we're all in agreement, everybody within the club and indeed within the country is in agreement that we must be punished. Um, we have been punished um, you know, and, and I feel along with many others at the club and many others, uh, many other supporters of other clubs that now enough is enough. You know, we're now in SFL 3, we've been obviously banned from Europe, we've lost the vast, vast majority of our playing squad, we've been fined. You know, our, our money's been kept back. We finished second in the in the SPL last year. All these all these factors have to be taken into account. Nobody's saying that we didn't deserve to be punished. We are in fact agreeing with that. But the fact, the level of the punishment, some could argue it might be a little bit stiff, but it doesn't matter. All we are saying now is let us go and play football. It seems to have been handled very badly. That's the broad consensus, I think, among a number of people. And I know from your own involvement in discussions in the last week or so, you've been a bit disappointed and disillusioned by the leadership. Well, I have to be, to, to be honest again and, and tell you, I, I nearly said fortunate, but I'm not sure whether it's unfortunate. I've been at a, a lot, if not the vast majority of the meetings in, involving uh, you know, SFA, SFL, SPL, you know, and, and a lot of the meetings, I would have to say, have, have, you know, have, have done little to impress me uh, or indeed show me that the leadership, you know, has, has, a, has given me anything other than you know, a lack of confidence, to be quite honest with you. Um, the SFL, on the other hand, you know, have, have, have 29 of, of their 30 clubs have welcomed, welcomed us into the SFL and for that we are very, very grateful. But it seems to me, you know, perhaps, you know, one or two of the, of the people within the other organisation are making up the rules and regulations as they go along. It's as simple as that, you know, it's, the whole thing's been, um, for want of a better word, a shambles really. It's a dog's dinner. Um, went into administration, I think, in February the 14th. We're now less than 48 hours before the start of our season and we don't even know if we've got a licence, you know. And It seems to me, as I say, I think the club has been more than fair in the respect of accepting punishment after punishment after punishment but now we just want to say enough is enough and please let us go and play football. That's all we want to do. It seems that there are people involved in the SPL and also the SFA who, who clearly have vested interests here. Is that an, a, alarming to you? It is alarming. Um, th there's no doubt about that. Um, it has surprised me um, and indeed saddened me actually at, at some of the uh, perhaps vitriol. I wouldn't even say that's too strong a word that has been shown against our club. That, that has saddened me and... and, and as I say, surprise me, but that's that's the way are, that's the way we're, where we are at the moment. The SPL obviously voted us out of the SPL. That's fine, absolutely. That was their, you know, that was their option prerogative. They could do that, and we accept that. Um, it is rather strange now that they're in discussions with the SFL, wanting the television television money which we will produce in the SFL. The irony isn't lost in me or any of the range of support there. There, it has to be said, and, and I just feel that you know that's obviously. Uh, Neil Doncaster and his board and perhaps one or two people within other clubs have a vested interest in perhaps taking it a little bit further in terms of chasing us for, for um, titles which they believe, wrongly in my opinion, that um, were won unfairly. Many Rangers fans find it quite staggering that the fantastic achievements of Walter Smith the last three years, or, the, or three years in a row, and Alec McLeish uh, as well, would, would be called into question. Well, I, I for one am absolutely staggered at it as well. You know, players... Um, the, you know, they win trophies out in the park, that's where you do your work and that's where you win trophies and our, our players won them fairly and squarely. There's absolutely no doubt about that and, you know, I can guarantee um, I, for one, um, would not accept any um, any call for tainted titles or anything like that at all. It was so disrespectful to the players that won it and they won them in merit. And it's, it seems that uh, it's unique to this country, Ali, that nowhere else in the world seems to apply uh, such a, a set of rules, if you like. Well, 
you're talking about you know them applying rules. They're applying rules you know that aren't there in the first place now. You know, I mean the the, the transfer embargo situation for you know for example was you know was a farce, and it's you know to be fair, it's, it's even more of a farce now because we went back and accepted it. But I can totally understand the the position that our board have been put in. Because one of the options that if we didn't accept the transfer embargo, which we proved wasn't on the remit in the court of session, was the possibility of our club going into extinction, extinction if it went back to the uh, appellate tribunal. So I can totally understand the, the board's decision there. We, we are dealing with people's jobs and people's livelihood, livelihoods within the football club, and that is of paramount importance to everybody. And you, you look at, and I'll, I'll tell you, and I speak to people all over the world, down in England and in Europe and in the States, they are absolutely amazed, amazed at the dog's dinner that this whole thing has, has created. It's, it's actually, it's an embarrassment, an absolute embarrassment to Scottish football. We as a football club must hold some of the shares, some of the responsibility for that, for the for the last 10 months or say of financial massive mismanagement, but at the same time it's been handled very, very poorly. Well exactly, I mean Rangers obviously through the, 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 the actions or non-actions of Craig White landed the club in the position that they became in. But since then, uh, you know, your hands have been tied. Hands have been completely tied. You know, as I say, we are, we are all, and uh, I'm not in any way looking for sympathy here, but, you know, we are, we are suffering. We're absolutely suffering. There's no doubt about that for the, for the actions of, 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 of the club in the last 10 months or indeed certain people within the club in the last 10 months. But at the same time, all we want to do is the chance to recover and the chance to push forward again. And obviously, I speak to you know Rangers fans and Scottish football fans, and I get a feeling that you know that the, the the majority are now saying they're all getting they're sick of it. Actually, you know they're sick and tired of it all. And I think the majority of them are now saying, right, enough's enough. Let them get back to SFL three. Let them start playing football. And we, I have to tell you, Lindsay, we are really looking forward to it. We've accepted the fact that we're going to start off in SFL three. We're going to hopefully play in the Ramsons Cup. And that's brilliant. We want to get into the, that, that particular league. We want to play in that cup. We want to go to places, whether it be Montrose, Peterhead, Albion Rovers, you know, Stranraer, all over the place. And our fans are genuinely looking forward to it. They want to go down to these places, want to make new friends, and certainly add a bit to the SFL. Ali, thanks for your time. Thank you. Ali, it's been a hellish summer for you.